What the reverse boy? Turn the time to the again and back with more MVP baseball 93. Last episode, the Phils got a sweep of the Rockies, and now they face the Cincinnati Reds, as you see the same, pretty much the same lineup as they had in the first three games. In real life, the O's look great as John Smelly starts for the Reds. In real life, my Orioles are 6 0. Best start in franchise history. Let's see if the Phils can go 4 0. As they start a three game set with the Reds. Leading off for the Phillies, number four, center fielder, Lenny Dexter. Lenny at the dish. Line to center field, there's a leadoff single for Lenny. He's on with nobody down. I had to bring up Mickey Morandini. Lenny, of course, leading first. Smiley knows about Lenny's speed, so he's checking on him. And he wanted to go there. Obviously concerned about Lenny, but that's not going to help him as he gets all the way to third on this base hit from Mickey Morandini. Now to bring up the left fielder number 22, Pete Incavillia. Pitch Yankee and a high drive to left center field. That ball has a chance. Way back. That ball is gone. Three running room for Yankee, and the Phil's take a quick 3 0 lead. And we're going to the hottest member of the Phillies, John Cruck. In 535 with 5 over 10 RBIs in that first series. And Crocky will continue his hot streak with a base at the left. Phil's jumping all over Smiley here in the first. He's fooling nobody. And to bring up Dutch Dillon. Dutch takes the curve outside for a ball. And Dutch got jammed and that one popped it right up. One out. Already the Reds have somebody up in their pen as the right hander Cliff Anderson is up in the throwing. They've been pitching the first inning here. I had to bring up Kim Batiste. He's the one for four in the season. Uh, no, be a double play ball. American, there's one. No! Pulled him off the bag. Batista reached out of fielder's choice. I had to bring up West Chamberlain. West can't take advantage of the extra out, though. They'll ground out the second. Inning over. See the red lineup and on the mound for the Phillies, number 45, left hander Cherry Mulholland. Okay, leading off, number 10, second baseman, Bib Roberts. Okay, first hits the ground of their Cracky. One. Flip to Cherry. Wow. Now to bring up the first baseman, number 23, Hal Morris. I'm going to go right to Mickey Morandini. game. Two down. Now to bring up left fielder, number 7, Kevin Mitchell. There he's first pitch is a strike, and he takes a call strike. Only one. The one from Terry. Swing and miss on the changeup. Mitchell was way out in front of that one. The 0 2 from Terry to Mitchell. Swing and miss, got him swinging. And Terry has a quick 1 2 3 inning. For the fields, it'll be Stocker, Terry, and Lenny in the second. Stocks continuing a strong start to the season. Takes the ball from Smiley. The one order stock. And he got on top of that one. And it'll round out. One away. And bring up Terry Mahone. Terry was trying to swing out of his shoes there, and he swung and missed. Swoosh! Strike two. Oh, and two to Terry. 
and Terry Owen bounced it at Morris, or Roberts rather, two outs. That will bring up Lenny, who led the game off with a single, and later scored on, on Pete's three run homer. And Lenny with a shot to left and field, this ball's got a chance. It's back, way back, it's going to split the gap. That'll be at least a double, maybe three for Lenny, knowing his speed. And he's going to think about three, he's going for it. Here's the throw, he is safe, he's in there with a triple. Reds fan didn't like it. He's like, that's the worst call I've ever seen. Let's take a look on the replay. Did they make it right? And Lenny's in there. They're bringing Mickey Moore and didn't even a chance for an RBI. Two outs in the second. And Mickey will hit a sharp run to the short. Hitting over. Sabo Larkin and Jacob Brumfield for the, for the Reds. It's right, can hear in a second. Bounce in a stock, easy play, one down. And bring up the Reds, fame shortstop, Barry Larkin. It's Terry gets a strike on Barry, one one. And now, 0 oh 2 on the, on the Reds, probably shortstop. Here we two. Pop him up. Batiste heading over to third in foul ground. He's got to play. Two outs. And bring up their rookie number four, Jacob Brumfield. Lined in the center field. There's a base hit. And Brumfield's got the first red hit. And I bring up center field number 25, Roberto Kelly. That's line to left, another base hit. Inky gets it back in, and now the Reds have something going here with two outs. Had to bring up number six, catcher Dan Wilson. Pitch to Wilson. Call strike. Just a second. Second, guys. Screw it, I'll have to play this later. One second, guys. We'll get back to the game momentarily. Wilson up with two on, Smiley on deck. So you wanna, you, I'm sure Terry wants to get out of the inning and force Smiley to, to lead off. So, Terry's just looking for a quality pitcher. Deal one to Wilson. Hanger for a ball. Get a stay calm, Terry. You got a three nothing lead like that Inky spotted to do it. Don't blow it. Alright. One one duels. On the way from Terry. Ball two. And Terry's obviously a little rattled out there on the mound. Two one. Okay, the 2-2 two, two to Wilson, two outs, got him swinging, boy was that a clutch strike up, as Terry escapes the jam with no damage done. So 
Inky, Grucky, and Dutch will lead off for the fills. As you can see, Inky, with that big three run homer back in the first, is the main reason for this fills 3 0 lead. Smiley seems to have settled down since then. It's Inky, it's a little flare to left. One away. Had to bring up Frucky. He, of course, had a single with it. Also. Crap trying to go with the pitch, but it'll run to first. Easy out. So Smiley had a rough first inning, but he settled down since then. Phil's just can't seem to really get to him right now. A little flare to right. That'll be a base hit for Dutch. And Dutch Dalton one for two. Kind of like a little, just flared it off the end of the bat and then bring up Kim Baptiste. Deep to center field. Baptiste got a lot of that one. Way back, way back. That ball's going to get in the gap. That's going to score Dutch easily. That'll be at least a double, maybe three for Kim. Here's the throw. He's there in time to Dutch score. I don't know. Let's find him on the scoreboard. We're going to try. I think he did score. He did. RBI double for Batiste. So Smiley will pit, hit for himself. The player in the third. Swing and miss from the red starter. One. Popped him up. Easy one for Kirky. One away. That'll bring up Bib Roberts. He's over for one. Swing your miss from Bib. Popped him up. Dutch Dalton's got to play. Two down. On the replay, I think Roberts is a little upset with himself. Pops it up. He just kind of just, just kind of just lays the bat down a little bit. And just, I don't know if he was a little more that he was upset or if it was just that he got jammed. Oh, it was more of a jam thing, okay. Wasn't that he was upset, he was just he got jammed. Swinging and miss to, to, to Morris. So he's only got the one strikeout so far, but he hasn't needed many strikeouts right now. That busted Morris at bat. You can hear that throw from Batiste. Hitting over. You can hear the bat snap on that one. Snap like cordwood. And the Phillies take a 4 0 lead into the fourth. And it's Wilt Chamberlain, or West Chamberlain, lead off. Smiley's still out there. Deep center, West got a lot of that one, but it'll be right at Kelly. One down. Had to bring up Kevin Stocker. He's one of, he's also one. Stocker trying to get a base hit, get the inning going for the Phillies. And Stocker with a liner to left for the base hit. So the young shortstop does it. And at least ensure Cherry can butt him over. He doesn't want to swing for himself. Let's see if Terry is playing. He is, he misses. Stock is going, and he's got a stolen base. So Stocker just swipes second, so now he can go to third on the sack point if he wants to. At least takes away the play possibility. Let's see if Malone swings. And it's a drag bunt. It's a good one. And Mahone does his job beautifully with the, with the drag bunt. Gets stocked to third. So Mahone does his job. That'll bring up Lenny with a chance for an RBI. Here you go. Line drive and caught. Says Stocker will be stranded at third. 
as the Reds look to do something in their half. Mitchell, of course, having the only strikeout of, of Mohan. Popped up, Frucky, gonna run for it. Will we have a play? Nope, out of his reach. You won. Call on strike two. Here's Van Chang. Let's go, Red. It's Mitchell strikes out for the second time. On the splitter. And Terry. Both of his strikeouts have come against Kevin Mitchell. I bet he wishes he could face Mitchell every batter in the lineup. <laughs> That'll bring up the youngster, Chris Sabo. Third or first, Frecky's got it. There is the Terry. Two away. I'll bring up Barry Larkin. He's old for one, of course. The second. Oh, I take care of something. He's only at 26 pitches. So he's in good shape. So far, we're already trying to get something going for the Reds here in the fourth. Hanger right to Mickey, hitting over. And Terry's working on a two-hit shutout so far. And Smiley, after a rough first inning, is still in there. You figured they would have taken him out, but he's been able to work around the damage from the destructive Philly bats. Just hasn't got, gotten any help from his offense as Mickey fouls that one off. Easy play for Sabo. One away. And bring up Mickey. He's three on him in the first game. So three don't lead. They've added to it since then. There's a bounce to the third. Sabo is up with it. Fires the first. Two away. And bring up Krucky. He's one of two. Flair to center. That's going to drop in front of Kelly. Base hit for Krucky. Two of three.
And bring up Dutch. And Karki's taking off. And Dutch will foul this one off. Easy hook for Sabo. And if it fills net inning, Jacob Brumfield will step in. Brumfield has the only, has one of the two Cincinnati hits. There's a liner in the center field. There's another base hit for Brumfield. So he's the only one that's really figured out Mohan. Yeah, these two for two. And we're going to Roberto Kelly, who has the other Reds hit. Call it strike to Kelly. You know one. Flair to right. Morandini out. He's got it. Got a chance for two. Back to first. Double play. I don't think Brumfield knew where he, knew where the ball was. He thought he had. It. He thought he was going to drop. Morandini's going to make a good play and get a double play out of it. So unconventional double play as it's a as it's a five to three. But they'll take it. As he bounces on the dirt to Wilson. 1-0 from Terry. Bounce it to Stock. Easy play on to first. Eating over. Batiste, Chamberlain, and Kevin Stock are up. Batiste, I double game with Phil's a 4 nothing lead. That's down the line and foul. Came at a solid con solid swing at it though. Up the middle, nice play for Larkin. On to first, one away. And bring up West Chamberlain, he is ult for two. Smiley's still out there. And West will get it underneath underneath one to dead center field. It went about 400 feet. Okay, it's just the gate rather. And bring up Stocker, he is one of two, he's got a steal. And Stock trying to just reach out with a golf swing and it's diving catch by Larkin. That just robbed Stock from a base hit. And now, Smiley's night is done. As the Reds will send up a pinch hitter. And it's uh, Juan Samuel, the uh, former Orioles third base coach. And Samuel will have a to the Batiste. One away. Nice pick by Crookie at first. Cliff Anderson and Scott Sullivan in the Reds bullpen. I bring up Dave Roberts. Swinging and a miss. On just quietly, methodically mowing down this lineup. Swinging and a miss. Yeah, no one two count on the Reds leadoff man. Year two. Swinging and a miss. Third strikeout from Mahon. Gotta bring up Pat Morris. And he's got a lively fastball right now. The old one to Morris. Slider swinging to miss strike two. The old two to Morris from Terry. Dutch gets into the sign. Mahon likes it. Here's the pitch. Lined in the left for a base hit. I think Dutch wanted it down. Mahon kind of hung it. Morris didn't miss it. I run Kevin Mitchell, who has struck out each of his first two times at the dish. He's got to wish he didn't at the face of Mahon again, but he does. And he begins by swinging through the slider. Strike one. You one to Mitchell. Hanger. Great at Batiste. Nice play, and the inning is over. And Terry lead off to sixth as. As uh, Cliff Anderson will take over for the Reds. And Terry gets a line drive base hit off the reliever. So, first pitch Anderson throws. Mahone deposits it in the center field for a base hit. So, Terry's helping his own cause with the dish. Had to bring up Lenny. See if he goes for a sacrifice. Mahone's running, and he's going to have to get back to first. I had to bring up Mickey Morandini with one of three. And again, Terry's running. I had to at least keep him out of double play as Mickey effectively works out of the sacrifice. I had to bring up Yankees one of three. 
Ah, it's gonna be a fly to right. Easy play. And inning over. Oh, up on your feet, everybody. Time to stretch. Reds will have Fable lead off his inning. Hanger, line by stock. That's a base hit. Good job by Inky to cut it off. Lead off single from Sabo. And Ringer's Larkin. We go for two. Takes the slider for a strike. 1 1. Red Sands not liking the call for sure. All oh, one is Terry just misses. Terry with a 4 0 lead here in the seventh. Bounce to the third. Should be two. There is one. On to first. Two. Good play by St good play by Mardini to turn it. Easy third of Crucky. Two up. Here's Jacob Rumfield. Oh, living on a prayer. As Mohammed misses the Brumfield. Bouncer just more D. Easy play. Inning over. So Terry's worked seven innings of five hit shutout ball. That's correct. You'll stand in. He's two of three. And he'll take the pitch up high for a ball. 1 0. That was probably a ball, but Kirky swung at it anyway. And he's going to get a base hit out of it. Left hitter took a little bit of trouble. Kirky's going to chance it for two. Here's the throw. He is in there. So Kirky Sussel pays off there as he gets a double. And then bring up Dutch Dalton. It's one of three. And Dutch with a liner down the right field line. It's going to be a fair ball. That's going to score Kirky with, with ease from second. And Dutch. Will be nailed. That's an RBI single. But you gotta, you gotta love the hustle there from Dutch. And bring up to Kim Batiste. Kim Batiste gets in the one at dead center field. This one's got a chance. It's back, and it's gonna be off the wall. That'll be at least a double for Batiste as he will pull in. Whoa, wait a minute. He overran second, and he's gonna get a double. Second double. i bring up West Chamberlain. He's 0 for 3, trying to join the hit party. And West off the pitch. That's a, that's a BB he just hit. That's going to be an infield single. Well, that's one way to get a base hit. Hit one right off the pitcher. I think he got it. Got it up. Got it. I think he got his elbow. He got the glove up, thankfully, to keep him hitting him in the face. That was a rocket. Puts the stock, and the stock will. By the center. Kelly is there, inning over. Phil's due out a run though. And they go to the bottom of the eighth, up five nothing. Allen's still out there trying to get through the eighth, possibly work a shot out of the pops as he gets Kelly to pop up. Easy play for Crook. One away. And to bring up Dan Wilson. Tips to Dan. Lined into right. There's a base hit for the Reds catcher. Jane Morton fires. Nice, nice stop by Mohan to keep it from getting into the getting away. And now the Reds will consider as they send up as they send up uh, Willie Green to pinch it for Anderson. Pitch to Green. Bouncer foul. Reds now have Scott Sullivan and Tim Pew in their pen. You wonder green. Bounce to the D. There's one. On to first. Two. Double play. And the Phils will head to the ninth as they try to wrap up a shutout win over the rips. And let Terry hit for himself. You got a you got a complete game shutout going. I'm I'll, I'll, I'll let you finish it, Terry. Terry will help his own cause on another base hit. He's two for he's uh, two for four. And bring up Blinny. He's two for four as well. 
And Mahalan is running. And then he's going to get a base hit. Let's see if Terry goes to third. He does try it. Let's see if he gets there. And he is. That was a that was a BB from right field and Terry is mowed down rather easily at third. That's why you never try to have the pitchers advance. There goes Lenny. And Morandini hit the ground. That'll at least keep Lenny out of the double play. And give Inky a chance to drag Lenny in. Ball one. Gets away from Wilson. No advance from Lenny at second. And there goes Lenny. That's in the dirt as well. Throw to third. Got it. So Wilson had a good arm and he nails Lenny at third. So it'll be Roberts, Hal Morris, and Kevin Mitchell do it for the Reds in the ninth. Terry looks to finish a five hit shutout. It's Babe Roberts to foul it off. The O one to Bib. Inside ball one. One one. Called strike two. Let's go, Red said on oh, the field with Riverfront Stadium. One, two. Swing and a miss. He got him swinging. And Ricky Jordan and the rest of the boys bench love what they like, love what they're seeing on the bench there. As Terry has just been slicing and dicing this red lineup all night long. Broken bat again as Morris will ground out to Batiste a second time as he breaks his bat two straight at bats. <laughs> Terry's just been breaking bats all night. Now the Reds' last hoop lies at Kevin Mitchell. He's over through with two strikeouts. Pitch to Mitchell. Strike one. Terry has thrown just 57 pitches at this point. He's been extremely economical. The one from Terry. Lined and caught by Morandini. Ball game over. Fields start the season 4-0. Thanks to us, hell of a start by Terry Mullen. Nice going out there, Terry. So Terry throws a six hit shutout. And Lenny goes three for five. Morandini one for five. Inky had the big hit. In the first inning, that got the Phillies off and running, and they weren't look, and they never looked back. Dutch went two for four with an RBI. Terry Kim Batiste, Wes and Stock both went one for four. Even Terry Mahon got a couple base hits. Inky now with his three RBI, so that's five on the year. Dutch with six, now Batiste with his first. Stock had his first steal, and he got caught for the first time. Terry didn't need to strike out any guys, he's fan five. So he pitched a brilliant ball game. And that'll do it for this episode of MVP Baseball 93. Till next time, it's your boy from the Chum City, Chum City Gamer, signing up for now, guys. Peace out for now. Love y'all. Take on the Reds in game two on our next episode. Till then, peace out for now. Love y'all. <laughs>